Greetings, this is Sister Rebecca, a.k.a. Hollyhood, and today we're going to discuss demon possession. It's real, folks, and um, I'm going to show you how um, we can be free. Uh, even Christians suffer from uh, these attacks. Even more so, we suffer because we've given our lives to God and the enemy is angry. And do you know, or how many of you are aware, that Satan is a familiar spirit? And the reason that he is that, and there, he's referred to that, is because he cannot read our minds, but he looks around at what we do and our ways and habits, and he becomes familiar with that. And that's how he has us under attack. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about actual demon possession, and then I'm going to show you how to be free. God bless. Some are not aware that certain things can open doors to demonic influences within their lives. Things like drinking drugs, um, promiscuous behavior. In vampire lore, a vampire cannot even enter a person's home unless invited. Um, all it takes is an invitation, folks, and the same principle is at work here when it comes to demons. There are various doorways in which the demons might gain a foothold into a person's life. And the, some of them, as I mentioned before, include alcohol and drugs or drunkenness, although such things may seem quite uncommon or common, actually, in society. It, it appears that due to the sensitive and spiritual nature of the psyche, such things can lead to at least a temporary possession. Have you ever noticed how some people get more violent when they are drunk or high? Um, Occult items, books, for instance, um, even artifacts and um, statues, that statue you picked up in Haiti, it may have been prayed over by a voodoo priestess or a shaman in some far away country. So you have to be careful with the items that you have in your house because they can have spirits attached to them, Ouija boards, um, certain types of meditation. The only thing you should be meditating on is the word of God, which is the Bible. But many presume that even when the scriptures talk about meditation, that they are indeed talking about yoga and things of this nature. They're not. Um, Totally emptying one's mind, which is the principle of yoga, um, is akin to going to sleep. The problem with that is that if you do it while you're still awoke, you can allow demons to enter. Astrology and horoscopes, I've been telling people for years that many people innocently dip and dab into these things. And that um, even if it sounds true, you don't know if that person is getting that information from a demonic source. Because the Bible speaks clearly on these things, tarot cards. Um, you can even have such things in your home, even if you're not using them. They can bring in uh, demonic um, spirits and forces. You have to be really careful with the things that you hang on your walls. Psychics and mediums, um, you should avoid such peoples. Um, they claim to be a vessel for communication for ghosts and other spirits, but it is forbidden in the Bible to attempt to contact with the dead. So we have to just really um, take care of people when we, um, you know, um, entertain these things. And Hollywood makes it look all um, very fancy and stuff. But Deuteronomy 18.10 says, let not none of you be found to um, practice divination or sorcery or interpret omens or spirits. And you should not be in the presence of these people. Anyone, 18.12 uh, says, anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord because of these things. So um, the only word that you should be practicing is the Bible. Uh, witchcraft, you know, you're opening a door to foul entities that may cause uh, mischief and ruin. Um, you don't even have to be a practitioner yourself, but if your ancestors engaged in these things and they left talismans and things in the house, I know people that have dream catchers hanging over their children's beds, uh, seances, attempting to communicate with the dead. Again, this is not of God. Um, please be careful, people, when you sit down with people at parties and things and they offer you these things, they're taking you into bad territory. A lot of people who have so-called haunted houses, you know, that's not your lost relative that's coming to visit you. It's a demon. It's not grandma. Okay, so, you know, um, I think you get the idea. Um, and as, like I said, a Ouija board, they promote it as a toy, but it's not a toy. It um, opens a wide channel to the spiritual dimension in which any spirit can enter. Metaphorically speaking, um, that's like leaving your doorway open to your house. And you're saying to any uh, entity on the other side of that door, come in, come in. So 
those are the doorways. You might do well to um, research them and steer clear of them. Remember, generally speaking, the demonic cannot have a stronghold on your life unless you invite them in in some way. And like this greeting card says, you're invited. So they come in. Share your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Call, call emergency.